National Park Service Lincoln Home National Historic Site. The Lincoln Home Through the Years, an image compilation of the Lincoln Home over time. Lincoln Home Front Exterior. Around the 1840s, artist rendering. Black and white drawing of one and a half story light colored wooden cottage on a slight knoll and brick foundation, visible from southwest corner. Four windows are on front west face of house, two on each side of front door, located in center. Steps lead up to the door. Two windows on south face of house at first floor, with two tiny windows on south face at half story loft. All windows have dark colored shutters. Small side porch is visible on southeast corner of house. House has two chimneys on north and south ends of roof. 1860. Black and white photograph of Lincoln Home, now a two-story house, visible from front northwest. West, front half of house has A-frame roof, while east, back half of house has slightly lower flat roof. Second floor west face of house has five windows. Several windows on both floors are slightly visible on north face of house. Eaves of roof are decorated with ornamental corbels, painted a slightly darker color, similar to shutters. A very large crowd of people stand around house on the street and in front of the house and on front steps. On the street, among people are horses and carriages, including a parade-like group of women in white. One woman holds a sign reading, Won't You Let Me in Kansas? Around 1889-92. to Black and white photograph of Lincoln Home, visible from southwest corner. Large tree grows in front of Lincoln Home on southwest sidewalk corner. Lincoln Home sits on brick retaining wall with small wooden fence enclosing house property. Porch is now more visible with a metal decorated fence slash railing on the porch roof and a wooden lattice panel covering part of the porch south face. 1940s to 50s. Black and white photograph of Lincoln Home West Face, now with siding and eaves corpals painted white. Shutters remain darker color. Flagpole stands in the southwest corner of the property. House front West Face is primarily is skewered by two large leafy trees on northwest and southwest corners of the sidewalk. 1975. Black and white photograph of Lincoln Home visible from southwest corner. Fence around house front property is taller. Metal modern railings now flank sides of steps leading to front door. Large tree just northwest of home is no longer visible. 1987 to 88 restoration. Black and white photograph of Lincoln Home visible from front southwest corner. House is surrounded and covered in ground to roof scaffolding, as well as some structures covering the Lincoln Home roof. Surrounding property, including sidewalk, is fenced off with chain link fence. Construction materials are scattered on the property and a large sign with the National Park Service arrowhead and writing stands in front of house. 2009. Color photograph of Lincoln Home, visible from front southwest corner. House is a slightly light tan color with darker coffee colored trim, eaves, chimney, porch lattice, brick retaining wall, and front property fence. Shutters and porch roof fence are a dark forest green. Green blinds are visible in second story four windows on southwest corner. Rest of windows have white shades. Tree on southeast corner is now very small, shy of a story tall. Front parlor, 1860, artist rendering from Frank Leslie's Illustrated Magazine. Black and white drawing of Lincoln Home front parlor from view of back, east side. Floor is carpeted with some type of pattern. On far wall are two tall windows with curtains and tassels hanging in center. In between windows is a gilded framed mirror above a small table. On right wall is a fireplace with a black, wood-burning, decorated iron stove. On mantel sit decorative jugs and fancy candle holders. In far right and immediate right corners are whatnot, shelf units with books and knickknacks. Around room are assorted dark colored cushioned furniture, including couch, two rockers, and three chairs. Multiple framed ovular art pieces hang on right wall. 1865. Black and white blurry photograph of small section of parlor room. Visible are a dark couch on the wall, a small circular table draped with black tablecloth, a gothic chair in center of room, and a bookcase unit on the far right corner. Random framed art and images hang on far wall. Wallpaper has some sort of plant pattern. 1930s. Black and white photograph of Lincoln Home front parlor from view of the back east side. Floor is hardwood, covered in large rectangular rug. Black cushioned furniture is scattered around the room, including several chairs, open back chairs, and a small couch with pincushion style back in far right corner. Stove is boxy and made of silvery metal. A four lamp chandelier hangs from ceiling. Windows have outer pattern curtains and inner white lacier curtains with no tassels. Valences are on top of windows. Walls are a light color with no visible pattern. 1960s to 70s. Black and white photograph of Lincoln Home Front Parlor from view of the back east side. Whole room is now visible. Floor is carpeted with crisscross pattern of lines of flowers. Wallpaper pattern is of alternating dark and light bold of vertical stripes. 
On left wall is a doorway and protective railing separating a left side walkway from rest of room. Window curtains are similar, but now have center tassels. Furniture now includes a dark cushioned chair and rocker, and light colored cushioned chair, couch and chair. Stove is black iron, highly decorated. Small rectangular rug is in front of stove. 1970s. Color photograph of far northwest corner of front parlor. All paper stripes are of alternating white and light gray-brown color. Stove and mantle look black. Two chairs and a footstool of brown wooden frame and black cushions sit in corner. Whatnot shelf, mi mirror frame, and table in front of mirror are all of dark brown wood. Window outer curtain is a bright red with gold valence and red tassel. Lacy inner curtain is white. Carpet is a tan color with crisscross of white and pink flowers. Early or mid 1980s. Color photograph of far northwest corner and north wall of front parlor. Furniture is slightly different with more solid frames, but it's still of dark brown wooden frames and black cushions, including two rockers, a small chair, and a couch. Window now has lacy white curtains and a yellow shade. On what not shelf is several busts and quite a few books. Table in front of mirror is now one with a white marble top. 1987 to 88 restoration. Blurry black and white photograph of Lincoln home front parlor from view of the back east side. Room is empty of furniture and decor. While paper is still striped, but carpet is gone. Small debris is on the floor, and protective railing is still on the left side, but looks partially uninstalled. Mantle frame remains, but stove is gone, leaving a hole where the stove pipe connected to the wall into the chimney. 2018. Color photograph of Lincoln home front parlor from view of back east side. Protective railing separating part of left side of room is back. Left of railing, floor is carpeted blue. To its right, floor is carpeted with a dark red carpet with a crisscross lines of green leaves and white flowers. Furniture includes two rockers flanking the fireplace and stove with footstools, three small open backed chairs, and a couch. All furniture is of dark brown wood frame with black cushions, often in pin cushion style. Curtains are now red with faint orange color pattern and gold tassels. Wallpaper is a light off-white with a pattern of light gray leaves and vines. Rest of decor is similar as before. Back Parlor, 1860, artist rendering from Frank Leslie's Illustrated Magazine. Black and white drawing of Lincoln Home Back Parlor from view of front west side. On the far wall is a couch flanked by two side tables with a globe on each. On left wall is a fireplace flanked by a tall curtained window on each side. Candle holders sit on mantel. On right wall is a wooden secretary style bookcase with glass doors on top shelf showing books on shelves and a flat desk. A door is located on right wall behind bookcase. A couple of open-backed cushion chairs are scattered about room. May 1865. Black and white photograph of section of Lincoln Home Back Parlor Far West Wall. Against far wall is a dark couch with framed images on the wall. Secretary is on the right. In center room is a small circular table with dark tablecloth and chair. Hanging on ceiling when entering parlor is a framed portrait of Lincoln with dark fabric streamers and what looks like greenery. Wallpaper is a faint leaf pattern. 1884. Black and white photograph of section of Lincoln Home Back Parlor from view of the front parlor facing back parlor. Walls are crowded with framed art and pictures of Abraham Lincoln and several Lincoln busts and statues are dotted around the room. Floor is covered with a long rug. Furniture is limited with a couple small tables, an open-backed wind chair, and a black cushioned couch with pin cushion style back. 1930s. Black and white photograph of section of Lincoln Home Back parlor, far west wall. Floor is hardwood covered with a rug. All paper is light with faint flower or plant pattern. Four lamp chandelier hangs from ceiling. Framed rectangular images hang on walls. Furniture includes two gothic style cushion chairs on far wall, flanking a tall floor to ceiling mirror table unit with an elaborate frame. A simple dark cushion boxy couch sits in far right corner with patterned pillow. On mantel are several tall white cases and in front of fireplace is a small side table. 1955. Color photograph of section of Lincoln Home Back Parlor from view of the front parlor, facing back parlor. Wallpaper stripes are of alternating white and light gray-brown color. Carpet is a tan color with crisscross lines of white and pink flowers. Protective railing splits close to right wall, separating walkway on right from rest of room. Dark floor-to-ceiling wooden folding door is visible between front and back parlor, open as to allow movement between rooms. Back parlor furniture is all of wooden frame with pink cushions, pink cushion style, including two backed chairs and a couch. Couches on far wall flanked by two side tables, each with a yellowish globe on top. Wooden secretary bookcase unit stands in far right corner, 
behind doorway on right wall. Secretary unit has slant top desk. Mantle now has candle holders and shorter white decorative vases. Around 1976 to 87. Color photograph of section of Lincoln home back parlor far west wall. Secretary now has flat desk and furniture is of dark wooden frame with black cushions. Chairs are open backed. Small circular wooden table with marble top stands in middle of room with candle on it. 1987 to 88 restoration. Black and white photograph of section of Lincoln Home Back Parlor from view of front parlor facing back parlor. Wallpaper is still striped but carpet is gone. Small debris is on the floor and protective railing is still on right side but looks partially uninstalled. Mantle frame remains but stove is gone. A few wires and cords dangle from the ceiling. Part of wall above space where doors separate front and rear parlor is stripped revealing wooden supports. 2021. Color photograph of Lincoln Home Back Parlor from view of front west side. Protective railing separating part of right edge of room, right of railing. Floor is carpeted blue. To its left, floor is carpeted with a dark red carpet with crisscross lines of green leaves and white flowers. Wallpaper is a light off-white with pattern of light gray leaves and vines. Couch, side tables, and secretary, same as before. Though now a black cushioned rocker stands in the middle of room with medium-sized marble-topped wooden octagon-shaped table. On table are books, papers, and old-fashioned lap desk. On mantel are candle holders with pink decorative jugs. Sitting room, 1860. Artist rendering from Frank Leslie's Illustrated Magazine. Black and white drawing of Lincoln Home sitting room from view of the north side when entering from the front hall. On far wall is a blocked up fireplace flanked by two windows with curtains, tassels hanging in the center, and valences. In front of fireplace is a hearth rug. On mantel are candle holders and knickknacks. Against left wall is a table, Hanging on wall is a framed image of a horse. On right wall is another window, and a side table with a rectangular mirror above it. Carpet and wallpaper are some sort of abstract, vaguely flowery pattern. Assorted simple chairs and rockers are scattered about room. 1900. Black and white blurry photograph of Lincoln Home, sitting room, northeast corner and east wall. On east wall is either a dark couch or possibly a piano piece of furniture with a bookcase to its right. On walls are framed images. In center of room is a round table. On north wall is what appears to be a bookcase or secretary unit with books and possibly a mirror propped on shelf or desk. Doorway in northeast corner with dining room furniture visible. Carpet is some sort of indistinguishable pattern. Wallpaper is of bold alternating dark and light vertical stripes. 1955. Color photograph of Lincoln Home sitting room, southwest corner and part of south wall. Wallpaper is a light tan color with a busy pattern of gold and blue accented ornate flowery pattern. Carpet is a tan color with a pattern of large spirals and flowers. Protective railing has been installed against north edge of room. Fireplace mirror and table below mirror are all visible in their locations in the 1860 drawing. Several chairs are scattered about, all wood framed, but two are open back with black cushioned seats. One is a rocker and one is a small chair with woven cane seat. Windows have lacy white inner curtain and tan outer curtain with dark tan flower and vine pattern. A white rocking horse stands near fireplace. 1964. Black and white photograph of Lincoln Home sitting room with view from northeast corner with south and west walls of room visible. Room is similar as in 1855, but more of room is now visible. Left of fireplace is a black cushioned rocking chair similar to those seen in the parlors and a marble top table with a box on top. It is visible that the carpet to the right of the railing is different from that of the left of the railing. Early 1970s. Blurry color photograph of west wall of Lincoln Home Sitting Room. Room is mostly the same, but curtains are a dark, deep, solid blue color with lacy white inner curtains and fringed hearth rug laced in front of fireplace. Carpet pattern is now of light color with red flower and green leaf pattern. 1987 to 88 restoration. Black and white photograph of southwest corner and west wall of Lincoln Home Sitting Room. Wallpaper, window valences, and fireplace frame remain, but carpet and furniture are gone, exposing wooden floors. Railing looks as if it is in the process of being moved. Small pieces of debris are scattered about. 2018. Color photograph of Lincoln Home Sitting Room with view from northeast corner with south and west walls of room visible. Railing is back. Carpet to the left of the railing is colorful with intricately patterned stripes of red, green, and blue. Carpet to the right of the railing is blue. Black cushioned rocker is now gone, and now two wooden woven cane seat rockers flank sides of open fireplace, revealing brick. Table against the left east wall is covered with red tablecloth with black leafy pattern. On tables a stereoscope and stereograph cards. Curtains are now green with white shades. 
Hearth rug is different, smaller, and no longer with fringe. Dining room, 1900. Blurry black and white photograph of portion of east wall of Lincoln Home Dining Room. A dining table is visible with potted plant on top. In one corner room is a dining cabinet unit with dishware and goblets on top. Few framed images adorn walls. A couple of doorways are visible, one on north wall and another in southeast corner. 1955. Color photograph of Lincoln Home Dining Room from north side facing south wall. Protective railing is visible against north and west edges of the room. Carpet is a tan gray color with pattern of pink flowers. Wallpaper is a red color with faint red vertical lines and a gold repeating symbol. Visible doorway on left, southeast corner. In middle of room is small wooden dining table with candles and a cake stand. A couple of wooden woven cane seat chairs and a child's wooden high chair surround table. Against far wall is a tall window with a golden valence. Red outer curtain with a simple repeating pattern and lacy white inner curtain. Left of window is a long side table with a cake stand and plates. On window's right is a wooden boxy dining cabinet unit different from that in 1900, with white plates, cups, and other dishware as well as white stoppered flasks and condiment rack candles, condiment rack and candlesticks. Ovular framed images on walls. One is of what appears to be a dead duck. 1964. Black and white photograph of Lincoln Home Dining Room from northwest corner, facing east wall and southeast corner. Wallpaper is now a repeating diamond-like pattern, and carpet is of intricate complex pattern. High chair is gone, now all chairs are wooden frame with woven caning seat. Dining cabinet has now moved to east wall. On walls are circular framed images of angels and a small shelf with a plant in a vase. Side table on the window is now small. 1972-73 Black and white photograph of Lincoln Home Dining Room from northwest corner facing east wall and southeast corner. Wallpaper is now repeating crisscross pattern of lines with flowers in center of each square diamond formed by crisscrossing lines. Carpet is a different but still elaborate pattern. On dining tables, a small white tablecloth and cake stand has been replaced with condiment rack. Dishware on cabinet is different but still white in color. Outer curtain on window is now white and is on right side and on its right side is the side table from the 1955 photograph with a basket of fruit on top and candlesticks. On wall flanking window are two small shelves with plants and pots. 1985. Color photograph of portion of dining room with view of southeast corner. Dining room table is now larger and completely covered with a rectangular white tablecloth. Dishware on dining cabinet is now white with blue pattern. Curtain is revealed to be an off-white color. Carpet is an off-tan color with a pattern of gold lines and potentially pink flowers. All paper is revealed to be an orange crisscross pattern against a yellow-orange background with yellow flowers in the center of each square diamond. 1987-88 Restoration Color photograph of northeast corner of dining room. All paper remains, but all furniture has been removed. Railing looks like it is in the process of being moved. Doorways in the back parlor on north wall and kitchen in southeast corner are visible. These rooms also look bare. Orange extension cords hang from ceiling. 2021. Color photograph of Lincoln Home Dining Room from northwest corner, facing east wall and southeast corner. Wallpaper is now white with pattern of bunches of different colored small flowers encased in a grayed bordered shape. Carpet is now a pattern of mostly red with some dark and light green. Window curtain is now green, like in the sitting room, with white shade. Left of window is the smaller side table with candlesticks and a cake stand with white cake. Above it, on the wall hangs the dead duck picture. The dining table now has a white tablecloth with a fringe. On dining cabinet is white dishware, teacups, glass goblets, and condiment rack, and a platter of ham and rolls. Protective railing is back in place, and doorway to kitchen in southeast corner remains. Kitchen, 1955. Color photograph of Lincoln Home Kitchen from south facing north wall. On far wall is a brown wooden door with a small shelf attached in middle. Lantern is on shelf and basket of green onions hangs on door. On left, west wall, is a large black iron decorated wood burning cook stove with four burners and a warming rack. On stove is a black iron kettle, some griddle pans, and a cast iron saucepan. In far left corner is a wooden cabinet and a chair. On right, east wall, is a wooden table for food preparation. In far right corner is a wooden unit with a basin and flip down lid. Walls are white and multiple woven rugs cover hardwood floor. 1964. Black and white photograph of Lincoln Home Kitchen from southwest corner, facing northeast.
kitchen looks similar, but the food preparation counter is more visible, with a breadboard and several containers on it. A window with a simple white curtain is on east wall behind table, and a small shelf rack with jars is on, is on wall left of the window. Ceiling slants downwards over a south half of east wall, indicating a staircase above. Right of the door hangs a washboard and other wooden items. Basin unit has been replaced with similar sized wooden unit, but it has a sloping lid. 1975. Black and white photograph of Lincoln Home Kitchen from southwest corner facing northeast. Kitchen looks similar, but sloped basin unit is now against east wall under rack shelf. Rug beater is in, pla is in, in its place. Washboard is now against basin unit, and its in its place is a small hanging wooden drawer unit. Rugs are gone. 1987-88 restoration. Black and white photograph of Lincoln Home northeast corner of kitchen. Kitchen is bare furniture but with scattered construction materials. Doors now slightly open. 2018. Color photograph of Lincoln Home from southwest corner facing northeast. Walls and door are now painted white, with shelf and basket on the door removed. Floors of green material. Protective railing is now visible, separating south side of room from rest of kitchen. Original flat lid basin unit has returned as on is on northeast wall. Two shelves hang in northeast corner with various containers, jars, candlesticks, and lanterns. Left of floor is a wooden dishware cabinet with glass doors on its upper half showing dishware. On prep table are bread, root vegetables, and squash. Underneath it are pumpkins. Basket and washboard are tucked in southeast corner. Front hall and stairway, 1930s. Black and white photograph of front wall and stairs of Lincoln home from the west after one walks through the front door. Front hall is hardwood with a hallway to the dining room on the left and stairs leading to the second floor on the right. Wallpaper is a repeating diamond-like pattern and carpet on stairs is an intricate plant-like pattern. Tall wooden gothic style hat rack stands against left wall of hallway and wooden handrail curls up stairs on stairways left. A lantern-like lamp hangs from ceiling. 1950s. Color photograph of front hall and stairs of Lincoln home from the west. Floors and stairs are a grayish looking carpet. Protective railing now blocks off entry through hallway, which has a patterned carpet. In addition to hat rack, a wooden chair with dark cushion in hallway. Wallpaper is now a different diamond-like pattern with a pale background and possibly blue colored diamonds with a white shape in the center. Dining room wallpaper is visible in red. Around the 1970s. Black and white photograph of front hall and stairs of Lincoln home from west. Carpet looks possibly more plush. In addition to previous items in hallway, there's also a couple other indistinguishable items in the hallway. Dining room wallpaper is visible and has changed to the crisscross pattern with flowers. 1987-88 Restoration Color photograph of front hall and stairs of Lincoln home from the west. Carpet has been torn out, revealing wood plank floors and wooden stairs with blue-gray padding. Small debris lies around. Dining room wallpaper is visible with its orange crisscross and yellow flower design. 2021. Color photograph of front hall and stairs of Lincoln Home from West. Floor and stairs are now covered with blue carpet, with carpet behind railing and hallway a pattern of intricately patterned red, green, and blue stripes. Wallpaper is a simple off-white with simple faint crisscross line pattern. Chair next to hat rack is now one of gothic style with green cushion. Frame drawings hang on wall, hall, and hallway. Dining room wallpaper is visible with white backdrop and flowers design. Guest bedroom around the 1950s. Color photograph of guest bedroom of Lincoln home from the northeast corner, looking at a portion of the southwest corner of the room. Wallpaper is a tan cream color with darker cluster shapes forming a pattern. Carpet is red with what may be a tan flower pattern. A glimpse of a protective railing is visible on far right. On the left, close to the camera, is the edge of a wooden end board of a sleigh style bed. On the south left wall is a dark wooden frame of a blocked up fireplace with candle holders on top, similar to those in the parlors and sitting rooms downstairs. Against west wall is a dark wooden chest of drawers with a small rectangular framed mirror sitting on top. In the southwest corner is a small bed or couch-like piece of furniture consisting of a rectangular box with two cylindrical pieces oriented on their sides on each end of the box. Two windows are located in the southwest corner, one on each wall, with solid white curtains and off-white shade. A few toys such as hoops and a toy horse and cart are on the floor. Also around the 1950s. Black and white photograph of guest bedroom of Lincoln home from the northeast corner, similar to previous photo, but more room is visible. More protective railing can be seen along edge of north side of room on right, with a carpet to the right of the railing being different. A doorway is visible in the north wall, with a tall wooden wardrobe in northwest corner of room. 
A wooden cane seat chair and another window are also now visible near the northwest corner of the room. A few framed images adorn walls above fireplace and along north wall. Around 1964, black and white photograph of guest bedroom of Lincoln home from the northeast corner, looking at southwest corner of the room. Wallpaper is now a crisscross diamond pattern formed from lines mimicking raised decorated molding. Carpet may be the same, pattern is indistinct. Additional children's things are now on the floor, including an acabus, writing slates, marbles, and a small desk. To the left of the fireplace is a chest. 1972 to 73. Black and white photograph of a be guest bedroom of Lincoln home from the northeast corner, looking at southwest corner room. Wallpaper changed to a crisscross pattern of lines, forming a repeating square diamond pattern with a flower-like shape in the middle of each diamond. Carpet is now a pale color with visible pattern of clusters of leaves. Different and simpler candlesticks are now on mantel, and a small game table has been added in front of the fireplace. Window curtains are now white and lacy. 1980. Black and white photograph of guest bedroom of Lincoln home looking at southeast corner. Entire sleigh bed is now visible with its raised same height solid headboard and end board. Small white pot is visible peeking out from under bed. Above bed on wall is a framed image. To right of bed in southeast corner is a small side cabinet or table with a white wash basin and jug on top of a small framed rectangular and a small framed rectangular mirror on the wall. A small elaborated uh, decorated black iron stove is partially visible in front of the fireplace frame. Also 1980. Black and white photograph of guest bedroom of Lincoln home looking at a portion of the southwest corner. Previous small bed or couch-like piece of furniture has been replaced with a black cushioned fainting couch. No sight of previous small desk, acabus, etc. But instead is a dark cushioned rockers and footstool. 1987 to 88 restoration. Black and white photograph of guest bedroom of Lincoln home looking at southwest corner. Furniture has been removed and walls are blank except for a portion which now has a new pale wallpaper with a repeating design of fancy crest looking symbol. Two men are in the room applying the wallpaper to the wall. Scattered around room is a ladder, table, and construction debris. 1987 88 restoration. Color photograph of guest bedroom of Lincoln home looking at northeast corner. Walls are yellowish white color. Blank of wallpaper and floors are hardwood with wooden planks on it in a messy pile. In northwest corner and on north wall are doorways with dark wooden frames. 1991. Color photograph of guest bedroom of Lincoln home from west side of room looking at southeast corner. Wallpaper is white with a repeating pattern of an elaborate crest-like symbol in green. Furniture is similar to as it was in 1980, but doorway visible in northeast corner has, as seen in 1987-88 images is gone with a dark wooden wardrobe in the northeast corner. Window in southeast corner is covered with dark green Venetian blinds. Carpet is now stripes of shades of green with a red pattern overlaid on top. Also 1991. Color photograph of guest bedroom of Lincoln home from east side of room looking at west wall. All windows have the green Venetian blinds and fainting couch, rocker, and chest of drawers remain. In place of wardrobe is a small brown wooden desk with two drawers and a cane seat chair. Protective railing is not visible. Lincoln's Bedroom, 1894. Blurry black and white photograph of a corner, possibly southeast, of Lincoln's Bedroom. A bed is visible in the corner with a wardrobe and rocking chair to its left. On wall to right of bed is a doorway. Close to camera is a metal cylindrical object with an elaborate cone top, possibly a stove. Floor is either carpeted or has a large rug with an indistinguishable design. Wallpaper seems to have three different sections, with a section of a foot or so along the wall just below the ceiling with a dark repeating crest-like pattern. The middle section is about five feet tall and has a repeating curvy elaborate leafy pattern, seemingly with this section behind some sort of transparent protective barrier. Bottom section is white with a detailed repeating crest-like pattern. 1950. Red tinted color photograph of northwest corner of Lincoln's bedroom. A glimpse of protective railing is visible, which seems to hang along the south wall of room. On west wall are two windows with solid white curtains flanking a wooden chest of drawers with bottles and a box on top. Above it hangs a rectangular framed mirror on wall. The chest of drawers left is a small dark chair with fancy gold pattern painted on the back frame. In northwest corner is a long wooden desk with papers, cubbies, and wooden dividers for books or papers running along all along back edge of top of desk. A wooden semicircle chair with an open back sits at desk. All papers now entirely of the 1894 middle section design now more visible as a possibly white background with a design of elaborate curling leafy strips with clusters of leaves and flowers. Carpet is a darker color with lighter flower pattern. Also 1950. Pink tinted photograph of northeast corner of Lincoln's bedroom. 
glimpse of protective railing is visible, which seems to be along the south wall of bedroom, but not but not reach either of its corners. Along north wall is a wooden frame of a blocked up fireplace with a small boxy metal stove. Framed images of two men hang over fireplace with black cushioned rocker to the right of the fireplace. In the northeast corner is a small wooden cabinet unit with white wash basin and jug on top with a small ovular but elaborately flamed, framed mirror hanging above on the wall. On the north wall next to the wash stand is a window with a white curtain. Bed is in southeast corner, now a wooden four poster bed with no canopy or canopy frame. Just four tall carved wooden bedposts. Bed is a headboard but no endboard. Dory visible on east wall between bed and washstand. 1950s. Black and white photograph of south wall of Lincoln's bed. Same bed in southeast corner with a tall wooden wardrobe in southwest corner along south wall. In between in a doorway with a protective railing circling a space about four feet square out of doorway. A family stands in this space looking into the room. Middle section of wallpaper on south wall is covered by a semi-transparent protective barrier, but all of the wallpaper protected and unprotected seem to be the same or similar pattern. 1972 to 73. Black and white photograph of northwest corner of Lincoln's bedroom. Camera view appears to be from above the bed, as part of bed and post is visible in foreground. Stove replaced with dark, elaborately decorated iron stove. Same desk remains in northwest corner, but chest of drawers has moved to the right of the fireplace in front of the window, and a black cushioned fainting couch stands in its previous place. Curtains are white and lacy. Carpet is the same, but there is a large square rug in the center of floor over the carpet. Night, also 1972-73. to 73. Black and white photograph of northeast corner of Lincoln's bedroom. Towel rack stands next to washstand, and large white tubs and containers sit next to the stove. Glimpse through doorway shows room with small black stove and chair. 1987-88 restoration. Color photograph of northeast corner of Lincoln's bedroom. Room is bare furniture, carpet, and wallpaper, revealing yellowing walls and hardwood floors. Pieces of wooden and glass panes lean against walls with small debris on the floor. Glimpse through doorway shows adjacent room looks much the same. Also, 1987-88 restoration. Color photograph of western wall of Lincoln's bedroom. Wallpaper of the previous design now covers the wall and carpet has been installed, although it is covered with plastic sheeting. Two wooden chairs sit in the northwest corner and a dissembled piece of wooden furniture, possibly a chest of drawers, lays on the floor. 1988. Color photograph of western wall of Lincoln's bedroom. Same wallpaper is present, but now design is visible as with pale background, with curly elaborate gold, plant-like design with blue accents and clusters of golden flowers and leaves. Carpet is of elaborately patterned blue, red, and green stripes. Wardrobe remains along south wall and southeast corner with a towel rack next to it on west wall. The circular, elaborately framed mirror and washstand now sit in between the two windows on the west wall. In the northwest corner is a circular desk covered with a green tablecloth and a chair. On desk are papers and a lap desk. Curtain is now a thin, translucent white fabric hanging on gold rods with white shades. Protective railing is gone, and a strip of blue carpet running north out from south doorway, then making a 90 degree right turn to connect to the eastern doorway. Also 1988. Color photograph of the northeast corner of Lincoln's bedroom. On fireplace mantle are two candlesticks, the portraits of the two men hanging on the wall. In the northeast corner is a chest of drawers with a rectangular mirror hanging above it and a chair in front of the window. 2018. Color photograph of northeast corner of Lincoln's bedroom. Image is mostly the same except the chest of drawers and rectangular mirror are replaced with the washstand and ovular elaborately framed mirror. The chair has been replaced with the towel rack. Also 2018. Color photograph of the northwest corner of Lincoln's bedroom. Chest of drawers and rectangular mirror sit between two windows on the west wall. In the northwest corner sits a small wooden desk with eight cubbies along back edge of desktop, papers, books, and candlestick. A chair is next to the desk. Mary's Bedroom, 1955. Color photograph of Mary Lincoln's bedroom from west looking at northeast corner. Wallpaper is in off-white with repeating pattern of clusters of green leaves with either white or pale flowers, pale pink flowers in the center. Carpet is a thin green and black striped pattern with a tan flowery cross pattern overlaid on top. In northeast corner is a window on north wall with solid white curtains and gold valence. In front of window is a wooden chair with fancy gold painted design on its back and a large square wooden box. In the center of north wall is a small black bulb shaped stove. Against east wall is a bed with an open headboard and end board of wooden rods. At foot of bed is a wooden chest. To left of bed in the northeast corner is a small dark wooden chest of drawers with combs, vases, and box. Above on wall is a rectangular mirror. Hanging above bed is a framed image of a flower or plant. 1972 to 73. Black and white photograph of Mary Lincoln's bedroom looking at northeast corner. Carpet is the same, but wallpaper has changed to a pattern of repeating flowery circles with a cluster of leaves and flowers at the base of the circle. 
On chest of drawers is now wash basin and jug. To the right of the bed is a small end table with a jug, candlestick, and cup. One box by the window has its lid open, revealing it to be a commode. Stove has been replaced with a black cylindrical model. Now visible to the left of stove, along north wall is a small marble top table and a light cushioned chair with a footstool. Curtains are now a white, semi-transparent material. 1980s. Color photograph of Mary Lincoln's bedroom from west looking at northeast corner. Carpet is the same, but wallpaper is now visible as flowery gold circles with clusters of green leaves and red flowers at the base of the circles. Chest at foot of bed is replaced with small wooden frame rocker with a pink cushion. A white fan sits on chair with small embroidered footstool, box, and book nearby. Near camera along south wall, a small wooden end table with a box on top is visible. 1987-88 Restoration Color photograph of Mary Lincoln's bedroom from west looking at northeast corner. Room is bare of furniture and wallpaper has been removed revealing hardwood floors. Wallpaper remains the same. 1988 Color photograph of Mary Lincoln's bedroom from west looking at northeast corner. Wallpaper is the same as it was in Lincoln's bedroom, a pale off-white background with curly elaborate gold leafy design with blue accents and golden clusters of leaves and flowers. Carpet is also the same as Lincoln's bedroom with elaborately sh sh patterned stripes of red, green, and blue. Curtains are now white and translucent, hanging on a gold rod against a white shade. Bed in the same position with a green dress on it. To left of bed is a small rectangular end table with little jars and other items. Above it on the walls is the rectangular mirror. A small square end table sits to the left of the window, right of the stove, along north wall. The commode sits to the left of the stove, and the pink cushioned rocker stands in front of the commode. Hanging on the wall are various small framed art pieces. Boys' Room, 1955. Color photograph of boys' bedroom from west wall looking east. Wallpaper is an off-white color with vertical, thin, pale stripes and red dotted columns. Carpet is a dark color with some hexagonal ring pattern. Spool-style bed stands in southeast corner against eastern wall. In northeast corner is what appears to be a dark wooden wardrobe with a cabinet washstand next to it with a white wash basin and jug on top. Rectangular mirror hangs on wall above it. A towel rack stands next to wash basin. A glimpse of protective handrail is visible running along edge of western side of room. A wall above it, bed hangs framed drawing of an American flag with words, Old Glory. 1970s. Color photograph of close-up corner of boys' bedroom. Bed is oriented with headboard against center of wall and has a small game table with acabus and carved horse figure on top to bed's left. Above it is the flag drawing. Chest of drawers with a mirror on top is located next to game table along other wall. Wallpaper is vertical stripes of blue intricate pattern and white stripes with repeating circle pattern. 1991. Color photograph of boys' bedroom looking south. Walls are now painted white and carpeted is of stripe pattern with thick blue stripes alternating with thin yellow, red, and blue stripes. Protective railing along west side is gone and now head of bed sits along northwest corner. Towel rack stands at foot of bed next to hoops and a stool with a small container of marbles. A window is visible on the center of south wall with white shade and white curtains hanging on goldenrod. In front of window is a game table with dominoes and a wooden horse figure. To the left of the window is a small wooden end table with a wash basin jug and chamber pot. A rectangular framed mirror hangs on wall above it. On eastern wall and southeastern corner is a closed wooden door. Next to it, opposite from foot of bed, is the wooden chest of drawers. Nearby are a small pair of leather boots and alphabet blocks. Hired Girls Room, 1955. Colored photograph of Hired Girls Room from south, looking north into room. Wallpaper is a pale off-white or yellow with a repeating pattern of small colored flowers. Small, low, spool-style bed stands against west wall and northwest corner with chamber pot tucked underneath. Above bed on west wall, a picture hangs. Right of bed is a small wooden table with a small white wash basin, a couple of jugs, and a tall container. A mirror hangs above it on the wall. To the right, against east wall in the corner is a chest of drawers with a box on top. In the center of east wall is a window with solid white curtains and a woven cane seat chair in front of window. Dark wooden wardrobe stands against west wall in front of foot of bed. 1964. Black and white photograph of hired girls room looking north into room. Walls are now painted white and carpet has changed to a pattern of fern-like leaves. A wooden rocking chair stands in front of washstand area but mirror is no longer on wall. View of eastern wall is blocked by a rack of hanging dresses and clothes. 1972-73 Black and white photograph of hired girls room looking north into room. Floor seems carpeted with large squares of thin repeating stripe design, not unlike very thin strips of wood. Bed is now against back north wall with washstand next to it against east wall. Mirror hangs above it. Window now has lacy white curtains with a chest in front of it and a wooden side table to its right with a candlestick on top. The wardrobe stands to the right of the side table in the southeast corner of the room. 
Against the west wall by the bed is a chest of drawers, and to its left is a sewing table with an old-fashioned sewing machine. A few framed images hang on the white walls. 1974. Black and white close-up photograph of north wall of hired girl's room. Bed is now against the west wall in the northwest corner of the room. Washstand and mirror are against north wall, and chest of drawers is in northeast corner along east wall. Rocking chair is visible in front of window. Sewing table is also visible in front of foot of bed along western wall, with a wooden chair with fancy design painted on its back. 1987-88 Restoration Color close-up photograph of north wall of hired girl's room. Room is empty of furniture and floor is hardwood. Small debris scattered on the floor and a pile of wood planks sits in the northwest corner. 1988 Color photograph of hired girl's room looking north into room. Floor is now painted red with wooden planks up with a long thin rug with thin red, green, and blue stripes alternating with a thick blue stripe laying along the floor. Bed is against north wall with a framed image of a child praying above it. Washstand is next to, next to bed against east wall with a mirror hanging above it. Woven canned seat rocking chair stands in front of window which is now just a white shade. A wooden chest propped on legs stands next to the right of the window in southeast corner. Along west wall near the bed is a small wooden table with sewing trinkets and on the west wall across from the chest is the wardrobe. Its door is slightly ajar revealing white sheets on shelves. Backyard, 1865. Black and white photograph of Lincoln backyard looking west at back face of house. House is two stories with two windows with shutters on second floor back face and a small porch on the left southeast corner, partially obscured from view by a large leafy tree. Wooden plank walkway in backyard splits into two paths in a Y shape, with one branch going to a small porch on the left and other path going towards a small back porch built going into the house back face. This middle porch is flanked by two windows on the ground floor, with only the right window having shutters. What looks like a firewood box, possibly hanging pots and pans and other piece of furniture are on this middle porch. Eaves of roof are decorated with ornamental corbels, and four chimneys are visible, two on side of the house closer to the backyard and two presumably closer to the front face of the house. Two tall boxy wooden structures stand in the yard near the house, and a gutter-like system runs along back face of house, with pipes running down sides of house, then slanting towards the middle before converging into one pipe in a sort of wide Y shape. 1950s to 60s. Color photograph of Lincoln backyard looking at back face of house. House looks uh, like a slight off tan or off-white in shadow. Yard grass is short with some small trees flanking sides of path. Shrubs and bushes are planted in the triangle between the two branching paths and along the fence, on the left and right sides of the property. Left porch is now visible with a, the metal fence on the porch roof. The top of the flagpole in the front yard with the American and Illinois state flag is visible from behind the house. Around 1977 to 87. Black and white photograph of Lincoln backyard looking at back face of house. Trees and bushes are gone, although there is still a bush on the left side of the property. A window air conditioning unit is visible in the second story left window. 1987 to 88 restoration. Black and white photograph of Lincoln backyard looking at back face of house. Yard is torn up with piles and ground of dirt. Back of house is surrounded by scaffolding and brick foundation of house is covered with black plastic sheeting and tarps. Shutters have been removed. A glimpse of the front A-frame roof can be seen covered with planks or sheeting. 2021. Color photograph of Lincoln backyard looking at back face of house. Path, grass, and shutters are back. House is a light tan color with the trim, eaves, and corbels a darker light coffee color. Shutters and left porch roof fence are a dark forest green. Flagpole and all previous shrubbery are absent. Credits. Images from Lincoln Home National Historic Site Archives. Music. Once again from bensound.com. Editing and audio description transcription by Jasmine Lurg. Special thanks to Susan Hake for image identification.